Hi everybody, this is Frank Cohen. I'm the founder and CEO at Push to Test, and thanks for spending the next 10 minutes to hear about continuous integration in TestMaker 6. Push to Test is the company that's been credited with bringing open source testing to some very large organizations, including Best Buy, Deloitte, PepsiCo, and many others. Our mission is very straightforward. We're all about test. We test so we can deliver a more reliable world. Many organizations will turn to us as they move from manual to automated testing. They may be specifically implementing agile software development methodology and need our help. We provide them help in not only doing agile, but also doing agile performance testing, meaning adopting load and performance techniques and also integrating open source test tools into their existing systems. At our heart, we're an open source testing business because we believe that these open source test tools belong in everybody's hands. Open source testing provides a rich, open architecture that makes it easy for teams that are doing functional testing, load testing, or production monitoring to automate the surfacing of performance bottlenecks and functional issues. Oftentimes, organizations will start with a continuous integration environment, or maybe a bug tracker or a source code repository. And then it becomes the tester's requirement to develop test scripts that will test the application under test. And they have many different options, including tools like SOAP UI, SAHI, Selenium, or writing unit tests in a variety of high-level languages, including Java, Python, and PHP. What's missing is a test orchestration tier, and that's what the TestMaker tool does. So for a continuous integration environment like Hudson, Hudson can make a call to the test operation console in TestMaker. TestMaker will take care of deploying the test automatically to a grid of machines or even a cloud computing environment. Those machines are, are running a test injector. The test injector has script runners to operate the tests in their native format. So if you've written a Selenium script, there is a Selenium script runner to operate the test within the test injector. That Selenium script then interoperates with the application under test over its native protocols. The script runners are data enabled, so data is pulled from a CSV file or a relational database query and injected into the script at test runtime. Continuous integration environment like Hudson makes a call to the grid and cloud test deployment mechanism. It automatically creates the number of, of test injectors needed to run the test and then the test interoperates with the application under test. All the while, the operation of the test is logging the test results to a common repository so that the CI tool can then pull a results analysis report containing hundreds of charts to identify and surface the root cause of performance bottlenecks and functional issues within the application. The continuous integration support in TestMaker means that if you're using Hudson or Jenkins, Cruise Control or Bamboo, that you can immediately add TestMaker 6 to your existing continuous integration environment. TestMaker 6 provides a JUnit style output report. We have a nice tutorial set up to show you how to do this integration at pushtotest.com slash continuous integration testing. The JUnit output report includes this kind of notation. The test suite itself indicates the number of failures or errors, the amount of time it took to operate the test, and a timestamp. If there were failures or errors, then you'd see specific stack traces indicating the source of those failures, and it would lead you to the root cause of a performance bottleneck or a functional issue. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to open up TestMaker on my local machine. TestMaker is going to start up a local test node and also a repository for storing the results. If you want to see that, just click over here under the output panel, and you'll see that there is a local test node started here. At this point, I could open up a terminal window and make a command line call I'm going to run one of the tutorial applications that comes with TestMaker. This is a simple functional test that will operate against one of the tutorial uh, web application services that we include with TestMaker. So this call to TestMaker will start up uh, the test node running that test. 
And you'll see in a moment the Firefox browser popping up, which is what the test scenario identified to operate the test. So here it is running in the background. At the end of the test, my call to TestMaker through the command line told it to operate the test and then to produce a JUnit style exit report. There are only three parts to this command line call to TestMaker. The first is to call the TestMaker executable itself. The second is to pass in the name and path of the scenario that I want to execute. And the third part of it is to tell TestMaker to create a JUnit style output report at the end of the test operation. This same system would work for a functional test, a load and performance test, or even a production monitor. To learn more about the continuous integration support in TestMaker 6, just go to the TestMaker user guide. There's specific how-to write-ups here on how to integrate Hudson and Bamboo into TestMaker 6. We also have about 40 other screencasts and tutorials available for you on the pushtotest.com website. I encourage you to attend one of our open source test workshops. Please ask for a proposal on licenses, training, support, and consulting services. Give us a call at 408-871-0122 here in the United States, or send us an email to sales at pushtotest.com. Thank you for your time. We hope this was rewarding.